hey y'all welcome back so i decided that i wanted to do another one of those talking videos where i use a lot of products that i just recently purchased and tell you guys how i like it my first impressions on it and so forth so i did my foundation routine i use my elf primer i use my maybelline fit me foundation in cappuccino 340 um and my concealer, I try a different color, but it's the same concealer. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer, but I use Fawn. Normally, I use Toffee. And I did my eyebrows off camera. Also, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow in, I'm not sure what shade, hold on, in Dark Brown. So, that's pretty much all I did to my eyebrows. I mean, all I did to my face so far. So, we can just jump right in. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with a powder. So, like, after I do my foundations, I do set underneath my eyes. So, I have two powders. I have, they're both this by the same company and the same brand. They're the Maybelline Fit Me's, but I have one that's matte and poreless, and I have one that's a smooth set, a set and smooth. So, the matte and poreless is translucent and it's from Maybelline and it's the blue one it's the matte and poreless which is the same as my foundation I love Maybelline fit me products I love their fit me concealer their fit me concealer was the first fit me product that I actually came that I actually used and that was when it first came out and I loved it so this one comes with like this flimsy um circular pad thing and then this is the powder and as you can see it's separates like that it's a mirror underneath yep and then the powder that I'll be setting with is also Maybelline fit me but this is 355 coconut and this is the only one that actually was somewhat like my skin now 355 coconut I actually have 355 coconut in a foundation but as you can see it's totally darker than the one that I use that matches my skin so this is 355 coconut this is cappuccino you can see the difference in the colors this one is more red 355 coconut is more red um 340 cappuccino is more yellow so the 355 coconut was the only one that i actually was able to get but as you can see it's lighter than the actual foundation and this one actually comes with like this kind of it's like silk on the back and like kind of reminds me of the laura mercier one so i was like what's the difference this but okay and I definitely wanted to talk to y'all, I definitely, I definitely wanted to talk to y'all about the price difference. I got this one, the translucent, off of Amazon for like $5, $6. But this one was in, um, this one was in Walmart for like $8 or $9. So I'm like, hmm, what's the difference in the pricing? Being though they're like the same freaking product. So I'm going to use a regular brush a setting brush this is my setting brush from real techniques and i'm going to set underneath my eyes using the matte and poreless the translucent powder um i normally use my laura mercier to set underneath my eyes but i'm gonna try the maybelline fit me today it does produce a lot of product so that you are able to bake with it if need be if you want it to so I can see on the camera it looks kind of dusty, but in person it doesn't look dusty, except for like right there, and I guess that's where it kind of do look dusty at on camera. And this typically happens if you let your foundation sit for too long. Um, this is what can happen, like the oil you can lock it and it'll start to look cakey really fast so i'm gonna go in with my contour brush instead and buff that out because the setting brush is a little bit too thin for me opposed to the real techniques contour brush which i typically always use anyway for products like this so as you can see it's starting to really like kind of cake onto my face so i honestly don't know how to feel about that so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Um, well, actually, I'm going to set going down my nose also. Everywhere I typically set at, I'm going to set. I set on my forehead. I typically bake on my forehead, but I don't 
think that I want to bake with this. This is really like a, a setting powder, a pressed powder to set your face. But as far as baking, I definitely don't think that this is an option. Honestly, truly, I'm not even going to lie to you. So, I kind of look, I don't know whether it's because I look matte in these areas or because I'm shining everywhere else. Or is it just like locking the powder to the point where I, it's like almost impossible for me to blend it. So I'm not sure. But now I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Cream Contour Palette. And it looks like this is brand new. And it just, hit the it just hit the shelves you guys. This is the medium to dark shade. I don't have my light to medium yet. Because it's dropping tomorrow. And it will be shipped to me tomorrow. Because I already ordered it. So it looks like this. I think it look cute. Normally I don't pick up my products unless it's powder with this brush. Because when I start cream contouring, I typically use my LA Girl concealer and mahogany. And I, I just take it from the actual applicator and apply it to my face. So I have not done this before. Do that. I just mix both of them together, honestly. So that's what I'm about to do now. Just mix both of them together. And I just contour on my face. Like, honestly, I don't. I don't see a purpose in doing all of that like artistic work I don't have time <laughs> I do what works for me now that might not work for everybody but it works for me now I can say this product a little goes a long way because my brush definitely is not picking up that much product but it is making a difference because you can tell my face is being contoured but being though a little goes a long way, you can easily blend this out opposed to the LA Girls. Like if you put a little bit too much on there, you might be effed out of luck. I've also noticed that their powder palettes, these ones, where are they? The ones that's actually like powder, these have went up. Um, I don't know the actual net weight. The net weight. Yep. So the cream is 7.5 grams and the powder palettes are 11 grams total. So yeah and the cream is 0 0.26 ounces and the powder is 0 0.38 ounces. So it's less, it's way less products in here but, but with cream you kind of don't need that much but I also feel like they better not go up on any prices like they did with the powder, the powder ones because I just made a completely mess on the side of my face but the powder ones when they were like eight or nine dollars they were totally worth it but now they like went up to like how many dollars like grandpa like it's good for you if you're the type of person that you only do your own makeup but if you're like a pro like professional I just recommend you just go ahead and get a concealer or whatever somewhere else instead of like really wasting your money buying this palette because that price mm -mm, that's a dub but that's just me personally um so i'm gonna contour my jawline and everything this product i will say is stiff it's hard to blend a little bit now that i'm really starting to work with it it's hard to blend and um I don't know it made my face look super muddy like like I told you guys a little goes a long way so if you do do too much it looks muddy and I, I, I like this side this side this side is just not even an option anymore all right so um as far as my opinion on this little palette right here cream contour I could have done without it good thing it was only six dollars i could have done without it this will probably be forever my holy grail um i would set with that powder but that is super pigmented so it's going to add nothing but more color to my face and i kind of really don't want that so now i'm going to go in with this brush right here oh i have to use this palette again and i'm going to contour my nose I don't know how to feel about this honestly I'm gonna use a little bit of this I'm just gonna leave that alone and we're gonna go in with my 
face powder and with my face powder my 355 coconut face powder I'm going to use this contour brush that I just used. Oh, and I wanted to try this. I think I might have to use this with the shadows because this as a foundation thing might not work. That might be muddy. But I have like this color switch kind of thing where you just run your brush over here and you just take it out the color. I wanted to try that in the video also. I don't think it would be smart of me to use that brush. So I'm going to go in with my buffing brush. And with my buffing brush, I'm just going to buff my 355 coconut all over my face. Now, this looks way better than the translucent powder, which I'm actually going to go on top of with this powder. Now, like I said, this is really messy. I don't know if you guys can see because I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but this is really messy. Now, mm, mm, I don't know how to feel about that. So that's like really, really messy did like a light beat today you guys also because I didn't put as much as foundation as I normally do also because I didn't know how it was gonna come out oh this is definitely 355 coconut because I look way darker I look red my face on camera looks kind of red looks redder than like I normally look so I guess I'm shit out of luck with that one so let's try to set my face with the translucent powder just to kind of thin it down a little bit I'm gonna run my brush over a white real quick so that hopefully I won't get the color onto the translucent okay and oh I realized why this looks like this because this is matte and poreless duh but it does leave like an ashy look so I don't know what to tell you guys about that as far as the ashy look but tell me how y'all feel honestly because I what do y'all think about it because I don't know what to think about this I don't know whether they think it's bad whether they think it's good tell me how y'all feel about this so I use those two products um matte and poreless this is definitely matte and poreless because they got my face looking kind of weird so as far as the finishes for both of these the translucent powder I wish it was a little bit thinner maybe to keep that white cast off of my face but it definitely have me looking matte and poreless but as I'm looking into the my viewfinder I feel like I look like I have a white cast over me maybe I don't maybe it's just the reflection of my light going onto my camera to make it look like that but I don't know but in person it looks fine but on camera is really the thing that we worry about the most so the 355 coconut definitely make sure you pick up your shade because this definitely made me look way darker than I was supposed to but I actually love the finish of this it made it look super like together but it also dried out my foundation like the oils on my foundation so I really like that a lot so the Maybelline fit me powders I would definitely have to give them a thumbs up the translucent a little bit thinner I wish but still it's a really good product so I really do like that one 